It's the next day and time for our second party. This is the one our parents dread because they think it's the sugar fest. She does like the sweet things and uh, I'm expecting today to be a large amount of sugar going in. Instead, today's party is filled with fun, excitement and carrot sticks. Any cakes or biscuits served today are sugar free. It's there. This is a no sugar zone. So, with no sugar inside them, these kids should be much calmer than yesterday. Shouldn't they? Who can jump the highest? a piece of sandwich. Well, you were throwing food around? Yeah. It was used to... Who said you could do that then? Nobody, did, but it was, it was a, it's a food fight. Oh, right. Oh, we're swinging in the rain. Did he have you doing disco music? Ah. Becky's mum has noticed a change in her daughter's behaviour. She's a lot more bouncy, definitely, than yesterday. I don't know whether it's because of the clown or because of what she's eaten today, but I think it's probably a combination of the two. How high were you jumping then? Higher than the other children. Higher than everybody? Yes. And she's a little bit argumentative as well. I like my flower. It's time to reveal the bittersweet truth. First, we show them how much sugar their children each ate at the sugar party. The equivalent of 47 sugar cubes. That's how much he ate. That's a hell of a lot of sugar. That's an amazing amount. That is a lot of sugar. Then we let on about our deceit. The kids had eaten the sugar at the first party the day before. This is what... Becky had yesterday. Really? And she seemed a lot calmer yesterday. Don't know what to say. Aghast, astounded. <laughs> Perhaps she isn't really affected by it then. She's more affected by what actually happens around her rather than, than the sugar. Did I come out now? So it's not just down to the sugar levels then? Apparently not. Yeah, well, there you go, another theory out the window. In reality, brain cells have a maximum rate at which they can run. So although the brain is fuelled by glucose, sugar in its simplest form, adding more sugar makes no difference. Just as adding more fuel to a car doesn't make it run faster, the brain has no accelerator pedal. Brain cells can only run at one speed. So sugar doesn't make kids hyperactive, but it can give them rotting teeth and make them fat. Brilliant.